Hi everyone, Cody here showing off Hophog's capture application, which is more or less a spiritual successor to ArcSoft, Sh Ar ArcSoft Showbiz. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now in this video I'll be showing off the features of the program itself, as well as some of my settings, in the hopes that you can use those to make your video look really pristine. So uh, starting off when you go into the Hophog application, you'll notice it'll throw you onto the capture tab, which is what you're seeing before you right now. Now a lot of the stuff is kind of self-explanatory, so I'll just kind of glaze right over that. However, there are a lot of minor tweaks you can make that'll really help out your video in the long run. So uh, obvious stuff aside, you got your uh, device, record button, video input, as well as audio input. And you have your uh, screen right here. Now uh, a really cool feature that was added in a hop -hop capture was the ability to name your footage beforehand, which is uh, really effective if if you want to kind of sort it really well, or if you have a series, that is really well too. If you, you can just name it file name one, file name two, and then go on from there. Now to the right of that, you'll see this little timer bar, which is kind of cool because you can uh, set like a little deadline for your video to end. If you want it to stop recording footage at 10 or 15 minutes, then you can just set it to wherever you wish. Now another cool feature that was added to this was the ability to have your uh, microphone just uh, record audio directly onto the gameplay footage. In the past, I've had to use ArcSoft Showbiz to get the uh, visual side of it, and then just go into Audacity to get the audio, and then I would splice those two together at a later time. But with this, you can just kind of cut up the middleman, and then just use your microphone to uh, record directly onto the footage, as well as uh, some sliders right there for your game audio and your uh, voice audio, and there's a mute button here. Now, one thing that's kind of annoying that you have to get out of the way, and I'll show you how to do this here in a second, is to make sure that you is that your uh, microphone does not allow applications to have exclusive control over because if you do it'll really mess up your uh, footage and it's it's honestly cost me a lot of good videos because the microphone just cut out during it so uh, if you want to make sure that it doesn't have exclusive control you can go to your start menu control panel go to your hardware and sound and then once there you'll see your sound tab and you'll want to go over to the manage audio devices go to your microphone Double click that, go to the advanced options, and then make sure that this box at the very bottom allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Make sure that's not checked. Not checked. Because if you do that, it'll save you a lot of heartache in the long run. Now, also above that, you'll see a very important thing called the default format. You can change that to whatever you wish. Mine personally is 192,000 hertz. Make sure that you remember that number, though, because that'll be very, very important very soon. So, uh, glazing over this again, there's uh, video quality. The default is kind of stuck in the middle, which is alright, but mine, I have it stuck on constant, and then at 14 megabits per second. That'll make sure that your video comes out really, really crisp. So, uh, now then. Oh, also, uh, there's a screenshot button right here. I, I would not recommend using that, because you can do that in the edit tab, and it'll save you a lot of just uh, blurred images that you were trying to save. So, anyways, there's a advanced button at the bottom which will greet you with a menu of a whole bunch of uh, different things you can do uh, obvious stuff aside you got the video scaler you can change the source to whatever you wish second one video encoder these are my settings right here I have my profile set to high level stuck at four and my latency stuck at low and that's that's kinda like the best uh, settings I've found so far I have the uh, auto aspect ratio checked as well now the uh, third tab you'll see is a uh, video proc amp me personally, I don't change any settings around just because I like how the game looks itself. But if you want to get creative, then by all means do it. You can change the brightness, contrast, and all that. Now in the video encoder, once again, these are my settings. That default format that we were talking about earlier, that really important thing I was telling you, you want to make sure that your uh, bitrate is the same as your microphone, because otherwise it'll it will have like a, either two effects. It'll make your voice really slow and really deep. Or it'll make you sound like Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Which, if that's what you're going for, by all means, just just do that. Now, uh, these two options, I just kind of kept them default, just because I don't need to change that, honestly. Uh, right here, you'll find uh, .ts audio, which is the... Uh, uh, I keep mine at uh, AAC, just because that's kind of the standardized version uh, you'll find on like YouTube or iTunes. But if you want to change that to a high efficiency, high efficiency AAC or MPEG layer, MPEG one layer two, you're 
free to do that. Right here you see a microphone. Mine was stuck as a default on a negative 50 milliseconds, which is the, uh, it's more or less like the reflex time, like, between what you see and what you are able to, uh, kind of react to. So, uh, I, I keep that negative 50, because that's working out fine for me. Now, uh, once you get your video all done and recorded, you can go over to the edit tab, and you'll see, uh, this kind of black box. If you click on your recording that you just did, you can edit it from here, as well as, uh, view it. Uh, one issue I have kind of, uh, discovered with this, so if you decide to, uh, edit your video, d don't, uh, decide on doing anything too, like, a too, uh, fine detail-y, because it, it just won't give you the good representation of what you want. Uh, but you can also, uh, rena uh, rename this or delete it if you just want to get out of there. The, uh, export to MP4 option, you can do that, but... I've also had some issues with that in the past. I, I think if you look at my Worms video, you can see it'll sometimes scramble the pixels as well as change the color of the recording just entirely, which is kind of weird. So uh, moving along to the YouTube tab, you can click in your videos and uh, upload them to YouTube. Just put in all of the information. One warning though, I mean, like earlier, you don't, you're not going to be able to do any fine tuning or add in any little funny junk you want to do that. But if you're fine with just having the direct gameplay, that then, yeah, there you go. Moving on to the uh, Streamies tab. I personally haven't used this, but I've I've heard a lot of good things about it, too. So you can uh, stream directly to Twitch or Ustream. It's uh, pretty easy to figure out. I mean, you just hit, uh, enter in your information. Now, for the last tab, settings. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to show that. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> Uh, this this is a pretty important thing because this kind of defines where all your recordings and all your pictures go that you take of uh, screenshots and all that. So uh, for me, I have my own uh, subfolders in my videos for my uh, pictures. Oh man, did I just mess up? Uh, I believe I did. I have my own subfolder for my pictures and all that. You can add the directory too. Now right here, you'll find a use hardware acceleration. That's honestly just a lot of technological shizzle whizzle. You can find that out on the internet yourself, but I keep it checked in a full video. Now, right here you see a per use personal logo, which is kind of cool if you want to add your own little uh, moniker to your thing. So you can do that by clicking the check mark and then browsing through your photos. And I'll just use that, for example. Uh, you have the option to lock aspect ratio or keep it unlocked. I personally would keep that locked, and you can change the size of this. Change the size of your logo, as well as uh, move it all around the screen, and uh, change the opacity of it, which is kind of cool. Uh, I would honestly suggest not using full transparency, just because that would be really weird. It'll block out uh, part of your screen, which will kind of annoy some people, as well as just kind of get in the way of the game itself. And uh, I honestly, that's it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a like. Now, in the middle of the screen, you'll see my previous video, which you can go to if you wish to see my settings, or just make fun of my brace face. But, yeah. Thanks for watching.